you know what? I decided to play on every single official server. Maybe I'll move on to play on the private servers as well. I just want to have a full grasp of how is the state of Ragnarok Online. So I want to play on Iro, 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 that one I'm, that we'll play today. This one here, this is uh, Iro, I'll call it Iro. Uh, and then I'll play on the Brazilian server, I'll play on the European server. Yeah, I'm always talking bad about the European server, but I'll play there as well. For me to know how is the server, and I hope you guys want to know as well. And then I'll go to the, I think there is a serve, official server in Thailand. And definitely I would play on the Kuro, the Korean and the Japanese server. So you can see here in the IRO it stands for International Ragnarok Online, but international, oh, come on, it's not international. Because, so I'm based in the UK and I can't access it. I need to use a VPN to access it. I use NordVPN to access it. Uh, but still, most countries, not most countries, let's say many countries can access it. United States and a bunch of other places, I think, most countries in Southern Asia can access, if I'm correct. But anyway, they have Cow Store and Freya. This one here, Freya, it's just an event, it will disappear. Tor, I think it's the oldest server that they have, and it's very empty, 148. And Cows is the one that they have most people. It's a very healthy server, of course. It's far from being like the golden times. Okay, so let's start creating a character. So you guys can see I do have characters here. I have six characters here. But I emptied the, the storage, I have nothing there. I'll create a character from zero and have my experience from zero. Also, I haven't played that much in, in Iro, so I don't have that many things, even if it wouldn't make that much of a difference, but I wanna go with nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, so create a character. Uh, I like this hair here, the one that's very spiky. This one, and let's put it blue. What's blue? This is blue. And the name can be, I already have Game Citizen. So let's say Game Citizen Iro. Uh, if you want to send me a, a message in the game, send it, it will be very nice. I will put it in the videos moving ahead, but I'm not going to use anything because I want to have a fair uh, experience in all servers that I play. Wow, it already exists. Okay. How on earth? Because I don't have that name in the specific. So let's put Goblin Citizen. All right. Okay. Uh, also, I should explain that I am not doing a speed run. Okay. The objective here is not to level up as much as I can. I will play one hour per day. I'm not gonna play one hour per day every day, of course. Some days I'll play more, some days I'll play less. But the idea is that one hour represents one day. So if you play for a month in the, in the server, that would be like 30 hours. Usually I play way less than that. I don't have that much time to play the game, actually. But, and I think most people, on average, it must be this. Of course, some people play more. It depends on the time of our lives, of course. Sometimes there's a holiday or something like this. Anyway, that is to give the an honest impression so we start creating a merchant definitely i will create a merchant also to experience the the market of the game how alive it is how easy it is to buy and sell things and as most servers nowadays it starts with this introductory area here that teaches you the basics of how to play the game uh, this does vary depending on the server you play. Man, it's interesting to see the small differences between servers. We will see together. I will do this video. This today is just the first day. So that would be mean like one hour of gameplay. I will jump some parts. Of course, I'm not going to show every little thing that I'm doing. And then I will do when I reach seven days, when I reach 30 days, 100 days, uh, who knows, a thousand days if I stay for 1000 days here. Okay, we will help you. So I guess that there are people to help you. This NPC here gives you Aji, and that's good. We don't have these in the Brazilian server. The Brazilian server is where I play for the most time. This should be the Infinite Tower, right? That's all right. So they have these NPCs that, well, they give some reward to you. Uh, and it's, it, it's very helpful because you get these novice potions and novice flying wing. So they are very helpful. So I know what he's doing. 
the idea is to teach the bare minimum of the game. Uh, so I will do these things. I might speed through them so it's a bit faster so you guys can have a feeling of how it is after that. Ah, okay, so here we have what, Thailand, everything very expensive, so I will go to Pronterra as soon as I change jobs, but, well, I mean, that's affordable, but 70kk, that's quite a lot, but, you know, I received a message on one of my videos saying that they do have a healthy server, an official server in Thailand, and is it in Thailand where they were even selling, I think that was years ago, they would sell sodas like Coke and Pepsi and uh, with images of Ragnarok. I'm not so certain, but I know that in some countries in, in Southern uh, Eastern Asia, Ragnarok was extremely famous. It was very famous in Brazil as well. So they have this guy here, Instructor Argus, to teach, uh, what's the name in English? Pretend deaf? Play dead. Play dead. Wow, play dead and then... That's something I don't think people use it anymore. Okay, so I want to learn it. And it's the same as in the Brazilian server. So probably have to just sit here for, I don't know, half a minute, I guess. Uh, yeah, half a minute. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, so you see it's, the map is a bit different. Merry Christmas. I'm playing on the, what day is today? The 11th of January. So that's why it's like this and it has this song. Also, it's nice to see that there are many people here. Look, four people in this screen. That's good to see, it means that it's healthy. And it is in England, so that's GMT zero. It's half past four. So I don't know what time is now in United States, but uh, I think it's good, it's good. It's a good amount of people. Play dead. <laughs> Okay. So nowadays in most servers it's like this, you come here, you register, and you get lots of this novice potion, this makes all the difference in the world to be completely honest. And you get this equipment that help you a little bit, but yeah, not much. And most likely, uh, yes, as I thought. Here you can do a little bit more quests, I guess. Hey, I click it on the same thing. Okay, teach me first aid. First aid. Now that's something uh, we used to use this so much in the beginning of the game. And I'm talking about like 2005. Nowadays, no one uses this because come on, 5 HP restoration. Ah, by the way, they do have a cash shop, uh, cash shop here, and mostly they sell through these eggs. I have never bought anything, any cash shop, so I'm not, well, I'm not the best person to talk about the cash shop here in Ira. I can talk about the general mechanics and how it works, but specifically how, it, how what is good now, should you buy, should not buy, that's definitely not with me. But yeah, you can have a notion here with the items and the percentage for you to get it it's basically gotcha right and that's the way Ragnarok gets money nowadays uh, just have a notion here of the gas shop yeah it gives some consumables as well this is hot is it that sells a lot uh, a costume I'm stir bag It's funny that you can rent all this. Remember, this was like the good item for a hunter. Oof, so many years ago. Yeah, I mean, some just some items. Usually these items are a bit useless. What truly is good is usually these things here that they give the, the best things, the, the best items. But anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. I'm not spending money here. I have spent money in the Brazilian server, but here I'm not. And yeah, then there are more of these tutorials. I will just speed through them. Okay, so this other NPC here will teach you how to get a monster. I will also speed through it. 
Okay, nice to see. There are two other people here. That's quite nice. You know, something I don't like in the game is that sometimes you have to click again in the NPC. And why do you have to do that? I mean, you, you talk to the NPC, then have to talk again to the same NPC. And most of the time I really don't like this. Anyway, let's go a bit faster here. Uh, like here, you know, like I have to talk again to the NPC. Why that? Then you use this little unripe apple to get the little pouring. And I guess you talk to them again and they should give me the thing to... Oh, what's the name? Incubator? Let's see, let's see. Okay, here, the pet incubator. And that's it. I think here they have the automatic. Uh, here they have the auto feeding. And that's quite good. That's quite good. Let's put a name uh, Little Little Citizen. Uh, well, let's feed it. Anything else here? I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. All right, and then there's this guy here who will send me to the front of the map. This here, this is the most iconic map in my opinion. Wow, I mean, this is so nostalgic. It brings back so many memories. I love I love this map, I love this moment when you create a character and you're just starting the game, ah, it's just so nice. And in the past we would sit or we would use first aid, wow this is, I never use first aid, never, 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 no one uses it anymore. The music here is just so soothing, it's, it's so good, it is so good, I love this map and I think most people love this map as well, also since I'm here. Uh, let's go to Prontera because I want to show you guys how is the market and I want to see myself as well how is the market chances are everything is extremely expensive so let's go there and on the way we can kill some pouring so let's just sit back relax the song a little bit relax listening to the song a little bit So I'm going to put in dexterity here because it's easier to hit the, the enemy. I always start putting dexterity at least like 20 unless I have equipment and then I don't put any dexterity at all but that's I don't have anything here. Also here Naro you start with one in everything and that's good because then you can adapt your character from the get go. And I'm getting everything, all items that they are dropped, because, I mean, I'm gonna need it, right? And, well, uh, more people crossing, that's good, that's a good sign. Let's see if there are people here talking, usually under the south gate of Pontera. In most servers, there were usually people there, just relaxing. People would throw open, how to say, use uh, the dead branch, it was quite nice. Okay, ah, there is one person. Oh, better than nothing, right? All right, so we are in the south gate. Let's check how is Prontera. Prontera here, it's more updated version of Prontera. Not all servers have this Prontera. Okay, so as you can expect, the prices are very expensive. It's quite hard, I mean, very overpowered things like these shadow gears. And let's see if there's something cheap around here. What is this? Why is this even 5kk? That's way too much. Angeline card. Angeline card, 50 million, that's quite a lot. Buying stuff, okay, they buy old card album, 381. 
Oh, you gotta kill a lot to make some money. You see, everything's very expensive. As I expect it to be very expensive. Uh, cheap. Pfft. God knows if it's cheap or not. And, yeah. It's the usual, right? All official servers are like this. All official servers, everything is extremely expensive in all official servers. That's how the game is nowadays, and I think inflation is the main problem with the game nowadays. At least, that's my opinion. How much they pay for ad or ad... Okay, 2k. That's good. That helps a lot. 4k now in the beginning. That's quite good. But anyway, let's just walk around. There are many people here. They have the... It's not auto-trade. It's You need to do a little quest, I think, because it's the same in all official servers. But yeah, I mean, it's a healthy amount of people. I wouldn't say it's very crowded, but it's a good amount of people. So out of the 1,200 people that it's saying are online, I'm not so certain how many are, if it includes or not these shops, it might. Well, we will discover as we level up and see other people, but it, it's okay, I mean. It's, I think it's a very healthy server. In my opinion, it's a very healthy server. Okay, I will just walk through the center as well. Also, we need to take into consideration that most likely other cities will be more empty. And that's just how things are. Ah, can I make the smiley face? Mm, I need 10 of each. Wow, it's not even close. Okay, so you guys can have a notion of how expensive things are. Everything's expensive. <laughs> That's the notion. Okay, so we are about to turn level 10 job. Uh, again, the idea is not to do a speed run, the idea is to show the server. And uh, most servers are empty, so there's not that much to show. Uh, opa, 10 already, okay. Uh, I mean, what do you do when you're starting to play in a server that is old and the inflation is in the skies? I think you need to focus on your own fun, you know, that's that's my opinion focus on your own fun don't compare yourself to others as long as you're having a good time keep playing the game and that's it you know if, if you're not having a good time then don't play it it's that simple i sh we should do with this this with everything but really i mean you, cre you can create your own challenges for instance you can create a challenge of i don't know only using items that you can drop and things like this and i mean you can still have a lot of fun in the game and of course as you play the game as time goes by eventually you will get some good items and of course if you want to put some money i always recommend people to if they're really they really want to play the game i recommend them to spend as much as they would spend on a steam game so let's say you want to play it's winter say in, in 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 steam and then you go there you buy i don't know like a big game like cyberpunk and some couple indie games and you spend like 40 i don't know 50 pounds 40 dollars you spend this in the game and it will help you a lot a lot because you make the beginning of course this person here just wants some help of course no one will buy for this price i wouldn't be surprised if people actually help her but anyway let's go back there and oh yes let's do the this quest here because she gives a little bit. She just teaches you how to buy and sell things. In the past, it was so different. We would always have, first we would never have this amount of people, NPCs, but there would always be a merchant already selling for a bit cheaper. It was different times, different times. But we cannot compare with this. I do. We cannot say that there's no nostalgia. Of course, there's a lot of nostalgia playing this game. 
but we need to find fun nowadays as we play the game nowadays okay we gotta buy uh can we sell? ah we do have money because we sold the red herbs so we need to buy one red potion right Oh, someone is littering here, huh? You see, 50 novins, novice flywing. These things, they do help. In my opinion, they help. And I don't know, if I was a really new to the game, if I would learn by doing these quests, I really like how the game was when I started playing the vanilla Ragnarok. There were no quests. They would not even teach you how to play the game. You had to learn it by yourself. It was nice. I had a really good time without the quest. Nowadays everything has quests. Look, a bunch and this is nothing. You will see how many more quests will appear. And I know that it's a more modern way of doing RPGs, but ah, it's not my favorite. Okay, so maybe we can do these quests before we turn into merchant. But it's nice to see that there are always people starting new characters. That's good. It's a very good sign. Okay, we got this. Gives <laughs> one strength. Oh, that's all right. It is to teach how to use how to cook, and it's these foods. They really help. They really help. The consumptibles nowadays they are really powerful. Over everything is over powerful in the game nowadays. So let's become a merchant. Lounge. What is this lounge? A bard. Bard was my second, first, second class. First I had a rogue, then I did a bard. I had a lot of fun with the bard. Okay, so he's teaching about transcendent and the third job classes. In my opinion, I already made a video about this. You guys can check it. Uh, it's the one about the end of the Holy Trinity and the rise of Solo. Play. I think the introduction of the third classes, they they were not good for the game. Uh, you're a novice, you haven't decided your job yet? No, how did you know? Oh, that's good. Okay, so a class F2 test. All right. So when I start playing the game, there was nothing. You were just dropped in, in Islud, Islud, Islud. And you just had to level up by yourself, find the places to become a merchant, an acolyte, whatever. Uh, uh, and you just have to do it. And then, you know, that field where we got the pourings, the little pourings, we used, there was that place, but filled with monsters, like willow and spores and pourings. And there was a guy, there was a class aptitude test, I remember that. Well, I'll become a merchant, because always my first class is merchant, so that I can buy potions cheaper and this kind of thing. Uh, but let's see, let's see what will be. Uh, I will do the class up to test now because then when I create my other class the one that I will play longer I will do that one whatever comes out here usually I would create a hunter because I think hunter is the most is the easiest level up in the beginning and usually the equipment to make a, an average hunter they are cheaper usually these things vary wildly between servers but usually I go for a hunter archer hunter uh, but whatever right so the first type of question is about taking an action for a given situation in the middle of the dark you were walking off on the street of Pramtera when suddenly you hear someone scream ah oh, don't hurt me you run to the place and see someone surrounded by punks because of your sudden appearance the punks are surprised what would you be your reaction to this situation fight against punks cast magic call for the guards throw rocks at them Knowing myself, I would probably call for the guards. You call for help and the guards come to your aid. After you clear the, up the mess, you approach the person who was being attacked. Do you think the person who was surrounded by punks is a man or a woman? How does that matter in which class I want to do? I'm going to say a man, whatever, right? The situation of a current the gangs were like this. You find out that Hayes, Hayes, all right. He, Every single server has problem with translations, right? That's crazy. I mean, it's just lack of polishing, you know? 
these are very small problems it's not breaking the game but it lacks this polish and they make so much money with the game i mean it's so little to fix this anyway you find out that he's the son of a very rich family in Alberta and punks attacked while he was on an errand for the family. What kind of errand was he doing? Deliver an important object. Deliver a small souvenir. Deliver a message. I don't know. Let's say it's a small souvenir. For your bravery, he becomes your friend and decides to go on a trip. Why, where is he going? The capital city, Pontera. Mountain City, Pion, Port City, Alberta, Magic City, Jeffen, Satellite City, Islu, Desert City, Morrock, Industrial City, Einbrock, 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 Ward of Natural Life, Amatsu, Garden City, Hugo. Poor him, going all the way to Hugo. Hugel? Hugel? I'm gonna call it Hugo. You know what? I like Morrock, so I'm gonna put Morrock. You're having a great time. Do you feel like something will be happening or not? Again, how does that? I mean, which class would uh, be for board, right? Uh, no, not happening. Now for the second test. Ch test. Choose the best answer in your opinion. Second type of question is select a word or sentence which is closest to yourself. Oh, it's study, of course. I never exercise, never. Uh, change or preservation? Uh, change is good. Consumer, seller, producer. Well, making videos, so I'm gonna say producer. Speedy or cautious? Always cautious. Theory or experience? Always theory. Second type of question is done. It was simple, right? Let's move to the next. Now for the third test. Please choose yes or no to each question. Do you always pick up money that you find on the ground? Yes. Once when I was a kid, I didn't and I regretted so much and I didn't because when we watch an interview where they were testing if people would pick money on the floor or not. But usually I give back to the person. If I see that someone drop the money, I always give back. Not usually, always, right? This usually sounds a bit strange. If you had the same name as someone of the opposite sex, would that make you less attracted to them again? Jesus Christ, how does this question matter for my choice of class? Does me make does it make me less attract to them? Well, no, I guess, right? What's the problem? Do you like to be able to carry a lot of items at once? I mean, of course, who doesn't? Do you like to read books? Uh, yes. You write you read everything in a magazine? Of course not, who does? Do you take the time to worry about what you're worrying? I don't think so. Do you tell others what kind of fancy foods you have eaten recently? Um, sometimes, but I don't have an Instagram, so I'm gonna put a no. Do you write things down in a notebook often? Not really, no, no. When I'm studying, of course, but that's a different thing, right? Do you consider yourself attractive? Well, definitely not, otherwise I'll be showing my, my face right in the video, and I'm not, so... No. Do you like to be in areas where there's a lot of people gather? Uh, no. Do you like the idea of living a single life? Do I like mortality or do I like that my life is special? Mm, what kind of question is that? No, I guess. Yes. Ah, whatever. Do you like to keep distance from others? Oh, of course. Do you think that having a good hiding space is important in battle? I mean... What kind of battle, right? Can I hide in the middle of a battle? I'm gonna say no. Would you defend your friend even if you knew they were wrong? Oh, well, really? It depends. But depends on how wrong they are. If it's a minor thing, maybe yes. But if it's a major thing, then then no, because the right is the right. Would you try to convince an enemy not to fight you with logic? Why would the enemy listen to me? But I would definitely try because I'm a bit of a coward. Can you sit still in the same place for a long time? Oh, definitely, all of us can. We are playing this game. We All of us stay for like five hours on a row st without standing up. Do you think that you can take a punch straight to the gut from an orc? Definitely not. Do you make up nicknames for your friends? No, I tried, but I always fail. Do you always have a plan B for various situations? Oh yes. I think about something else while talking to others. I think that's a bit disrespectful so no okay it's finished let's see it's done what 
Thief. Okay, good. That's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite is Rogue. I have said this many times. I play with all classes, but Rogue is my favorite class. So Thief, okay, that was good. So it means that it works. So I recommend you guys to do the Cream Puff class aptitude test. Okay, that was a massive waste of time. Let me go on and become a merchant. Again, this is really not a speed run. I'm taking my time here. So Master Take one, I really like him, especially when you use that skill that you can fly. That was quite nice. The Gunslinger, I, I don't know. I like when there was less technology in the game. In the beginning, there was no technology. But it's okay. It reminds me of... Uh, there, there was an anime. What was the name of the anime? Forgot now. It's with B. I will remember later. I can do a whole video about Gunslinger. Archer, Mage... Thief... Ninja... Ninja is clearly inspired in Naruto. Uh, merchant. And I think the Merchant is... One of the most unique things to this game is the merchant. Okay, so you talk to this guy and you become a merchant and that's it, right? Yes, make me a merchant. Okay, so there is one thing I want to show about this. Look, way to the merchant. Travel to Alberta. According to change some merchant, you should go to the town of Alberta. Again, this will not break the game for me. But it's just lack of... You know, it's not polish, you know, lack of attention, lack of care. And it's throughout the game. I'm, I don't play in this server that frequently, but I'm pretty sure there must be all of these minor mistakes. Uh, it's just not nice to see these things. I, mean, I don't know why they happen, to be honest. Also, why we don't have to go to Alberta anymore to change classes, right? Maybe we still can do that in the server. My next class, Thief, I will do that. I will go... I will do the vanilla way. But yeah, that's that's how it is in this server. Ah, there is something else. Uh, ah, they didn't give... I think it's when you go to the add-in group. So let's go there. Well, I cannot play that anymore, so... Okay, so the add-in, it's, well, not all servers have add-in, Brutal Renew don't have, usually don't have add-in. Uh, but it's nice to see how each server is different from the other. And different servers use the add-in for different things, and here it's for the trading using the chat. And that's quite nice to see. So there's a good volume of people here. It's a good volume of people. And here, I believe it's where you can refine your items. So in the Brazilian server, this is usually where it's crowded. What? Can you sell this? Increase the rate of sin by 300%. things here uh, seven body and armor well armor is body and weapon two and a half three point three five headgear uh, okay 95k the yeah, already con okay you can have a notion yeah it, it's possible to have some notion here consumables well, she's buying there for 20k and this one is selling for 9kk. Here the foods I was talking about. These things, they help a lot, especially when you start in the game. Of course, you need to have a lot of money already to buy these things. But like plus 20 strength when you're beginning the game, that's so much. Uh, in the Brazilian one where I play, I play a lot with um, critical classes. So I use this a lot, a lot, a lot. And Royal Jelly, wow, when I started playing the game, when I 
that was the first item that really gave me a lot of money i would kill those what's the name of that monster it's like a tree but they have the monkeys and they throw uh, and it moves a little bit in the past it didn't used to move uh, and i would kill with my bard and that's people would buy this a lot for uh, i guess people would use this in war of imperium okay so let's become part of the adding group join the adding group you can write whatever you want here it's always the same thing okay so we join the adding group so here is what we have uh okay so we got 378 novice potions they're quite useful we got 70 novice fly wing 20 butterflies a bunch of these little items here this to make some i guess you can make some very basic things very very basic things like make red potion for beginners and these things but they're not useful because look two red herbs and you can sell easily for 2k i just did so this is not that useful uh, uh, close the book uh, and this is the important thing they give 15 blessing squirrel level 10 and 15 for agility and they give this old battle manual that for half an hour increases your experience gained by 150 percent that's a lot that really helps if you're in a speed run so i suggest not using at first i suggest you keep it and some levels ahead you do these missions first you do the missions these add-in missions here and when you are about to finish them then you use it and then you deliver the mission because then you get more experience points now most of you already know this uh, it, it's more advanced here in Nairo than in the Brazilian. It's more, it's more uh, updated, the server here. Okay, so we have done all the basics. We have this character here, we can start. Uh, I want to go to some other city. I want to see if the Kafra allows me to travel to these other cities. If I remember well, we can't. Okay, so... Just showing this storage here that I have absolutely nothing. I've linked everything. Also, I didn't check the Iro week to see what events are going on. I don't think they matter at this beginning stage. When I reach like level, I don't know, 50, 70, then I care about those things. I will also use more the forum as well and the Discord and whatever the community uses to have a full grasp of the thing. So that was just the first day, just the first steps in this server. As we move on, we will see more things. I really want to have a full grasp of the how healthy is the server. So, where can we teleport? Just Pontera. Okay, that's not very good. And in Pontera, can we teleport to other places? Let's see. Okay, we can, but I don't think we have money for that. We can go to more rock pion. They give this yellow butterfly wing that allows you to go to uh, yeah all of this place. So let me go to pion because that's one of the main cities of the game. You want to see how alive is the place. Okay. There is some market, 600 Zeni, probably they buy here and then they sell in Prontera. Buy and chilling, please leave a message. Good time. Opa, my caps lock. K red herb let me sell this one here and buy snail horn how much I expected a bit more 
Well, there's some market here, some market here. It's not much, but at least it's something. And they have the bouncy board here. So we don't have these bouncy boards in the Brazilian server. And I mean, they're not really that super useful, but they help a little bit. You need to kill 150 of each monster. They vary city by city. So let me just get all of them. And probably I'm not gonna do them, but maybe they spores. So let's see around. Let's see if there are too many people killing uh, here at the beginning as well. Okay, red herbs. Why is people buy so many red herbs? Uh, because in the Brazilian server it's more uh, spread, they buy all herbs and here it's more focused on red herbs. If you know, I mean, I'm not <laughs> I'm not a veteran in this server, so I really don't know why they focus on r red herbs. So let's see, so in the Brazilian server, this is the main area, everyone levels up here. Because that's something about the Rainier, right? They create this leveling route and it wasn't like this in the past. In the past you could kill any monster and there was no penalty for killing a monster that's way weaker or way stronger than you. And that was really good if you're killing at a distance because then you could kill monsters that are very much more powerful like the ones here. And, um, but yeah, now there is, and you follow this route, and usually the Brazilian server, people go here, they kill spores, then they kill some Bigfoot, then they kill the, not the Willow, the other one, Red Willow, what's the name? Elder, Elder Willow. Then you move on to Orc Warrior, and then kill a lot here, and then you go to kill the Petit, and Blessenheim, and of course you do the quests for the Eden group. Uh, and then you go to Stapos, and then Marble Marines, and then you go to the dungeons. That's that's the route. And it's a shame because then people don't do that. If you go here to these areas, some people they do level up here a lot as well in the holds. But these areas here, they are always empty. Always empty. This place here, Mount Mijoner, wow, I level up so much in this place in the past. And the map is so gigantic nowadays. When I started playing, it was just this. We had all the Baran and that was it. It didn't there was no Juno and Juno wasn't here. I could remember oh Juno was here. But I don't know, maybe I'm not remembering correctly. Well, okay guys, so I don't know if that's one hour already. Uh but anyway, that gave a feeling of how is the first day. If you just start playing the game in this server, how it is, how is it going to be? Uh, it will be like this and I think it's good so far. Let's see. That's just the very first impression Let's see moving on. Let's see if it will be a bit better. How I'll be able and Of course, I'm not gonna do all the journey for you guys. This is just the very beginning. So you guys are following me with me But then moving on. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do, I will just like work for like play the game for six more hours get seven hours then i will do the video there showing what i have accomplished after the seven hours which is supposed to be a week in the game and i want to do this with all servers all official servers at least let's start with official servers now what about private servers well the problem with private servers is choosing which one to play especially right now you know people were saying about off row off row off row and then it happened the madness happened with off row and it, this thing's it's not really nice. So right now it's complicated. The, the private community, it's in a, it is still not all right. And we don't know what have happened between Nova and Gravity. Uh, so let's, let's focus on the official servers for now and then we can move on. And But I do want to play on the private servers also because I want to have a feeling of how is the, the amount of people playing on private servers. And then I can have a full grasp and then that will be the whole project. But anyway, I'm not going to do only this. These are just some more videos to share with you guys. Again, not a speed run. These are just my impressions. So if you play on this server a lot, uh, you will know my opinion on, on the server. And if you don't know the server, then that's your chance here. You can discover the server with me. 
that's it guys i hope you have a great day and see you guys in the next video it's been a while since i released the video i will return more now because i was finishing my phd so it was really really busy but i will do more videos again the idea is to make one video every other day i don't know if i'll be able to get to that but that's the idea and um, most likely my next video i will comment on josh strafe highs because he made a video about the monetization system and i want to talk a little bit about this uh yeah that's it guys thank you very much and have a great time